Hi everybody, this is Tom Peterson with NVIDIA. We just got done launching a new technology called G-Sync. G-Sync puts the GPU in charge and syncs the monitor to the GPU, so there's no more tearing and latency is absolutely as low as it can be. Today's also exciting because we've got industry legends here that we're gonna talk to. We just showed them G-Sync, so I'm gonna sync up with them and see what they really think about the technology and how it's gonna impact their games. So first of all, I'd like to start off with Tim Sweeney. Tim is from Epic Games. Really, thanks for coming today. Oh, you're welcome. It's yeah. a pleasure to be here. Tim, when we first brought our G-Sync monitor out to Epic in Raleigh, what was your first impression of it, and what, it, what were you thinking right away? I was really happy to see NVIDIA working on G-Sync. You know, this is a problem we've faced for decades, literally. Um, since the very first games we built, we had to either aim to run precisely at 60 frames a second and never fall less than that, or we had to live with these you know, serious frame rate artifacts. Um, you know, either you have to deal with jitter uh, as objects move around at different rates as frame rates fluctuate, um, or you have to deal with tearing um, as you switch uh, frames in the middle of the monitor as displaying the scene. Tim, I know Epic is a major game engine developer with Unreal. How is G-Sync going to change what you're doing with your engine? Yeah, you know, with every game, we've always faced the stark decision of do we aim for 60 frames a second, or do we accept these horrible artifacts and run at 30? Um, and we, when we decided to run at 30, we had to make this really unfortunate conscious decision to not ever run at more than 30, because there's nothing worse than a game switching back and forth yeah. from 30, which is fairly pleasing, to 60 and then back, because yeah, when you make you that transition, you see the, see the big problems there. And so G-Sync uh, really frees us from having to make this one hard decision for our entire game. Mm -hmm. and enables us to you know, target a continuum of frame rates during gameplay and on different computers uh, that gives each gamer the best experience their computer is capable of delivering. When you're playing a game, you can kind of get into the zone sometimes, just like being outdoors. It's all smooth and it's immersive. Why is it so jarring when that experience breaks down? You know, I do a lot of hiking. So there are these times when you're hiking out in the woods that you hit your head on a limb and like, you know, it jars your view. Um, and you first notice that not as pain, but your visual field being disrupted. It's telling your brain something really bad is going on right now. And I think uh, seeing these visual artifacts in games just triggers this low level brain response that tells you something's very wrong. Interesting. You know, the same sort of effects that make you, you know, you know, trigger fear or flinching, cause you, right? You're flinching, yeah, yeah, fear or flinching, um, or which uh, make you dizzy or disoriented. Mm -hmm. It's the lack of cues that indicate you're in a realistic scene and everything's okay. Interesting, Tim. How will an end user really benefit from G-Sync? Are they going to see a difference? You know, all of our PC games have a lot of options. You know, mm -hmm. to control detail and frame rate, um, and so. A gamer who wants 60 will be covered, a gamer who wants 30 will be covered, but more importantly, everybody in between and the people who don't really know what they want but just want the game to be as good as possible mm -hmm. um, will be spared the artifact to, of tearing uh, if That's their hardware cool. supports G-Sync. When you look at a game running with G-Sync, it is just buttery smooth. It's smooth in the way that a Blu-ray movie is smooth, um, and it just makes the play experience that much more immersive and impressive.